Consider the function f of x equals 1 half x cubed minus 2x plus 3. So part A says to graph f of x, and then part B says to find a number delta such that if the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than delta, then the absolute value of 1 half x cubed minus 2x plus 3 minus 3 is less than 0.1. So the first part is to graph it, and that's pretty easy to do. You can do this on a calculator or on the computer, and you get a graph that looks something like this. For the next part, we want to find a number delta such that we have the distance between x and 2. Remember that when you have the absolute value of something, of two things subtracted, it's the distance between them. That's what this is talking about. So we want the distance between x and 2 to be less than this number delta. And if that's true, then we want this expression, which is also a distance. Remember this first thing here, that was our f of x, and then we want the distance between f of x and 3 to be less than 0.1. Here's the definition of a limit. And this is the precise definition here. The expression limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l means that for every epsilon greater than 0, there exists a delta greater than zero such that if zero is less than x minus a, the absolute value of x minus a, is less than delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. So we can kind of translate this into that language of the definition. So this is x minus, and we can think of two here as being a. And then this thing right here, we already said this is our f of x, and this number 3 here, we can think of that as L. And then this number here, that's epsilon in the definition. So let's look at this in a little more detail. Okay, here is what we were asked to do in the problem. And here is the function that we graphed earlier. So if we look at the uh, problem statement here, we see that uh, we want to find a number delta such that the distance between x and 2 is less than delta. So we're looking on the x-axis at 2 right here, and we want that distance between any number x and 2 to be less than some number. And if that's true, then we want the distance between the value of the function and 3. Well, if we follow 2 up to the function and then go across, we do see a 3 over here. We want that distance to be less than 0.1. So in other words, um, if I look at the y-axis, and I know this is not going to be quite to scale, but I look at 0.1 above and 0.1 below. So this would be 3.1 and this would be 2.9 right below it here. And I kind of follow this over and then I looked at this part of the graph down here. And same thing with the top part here. So I have my 3.1 and I follow that over and down. I want to know what these numbers are right here. These are the things that will help me find the appropriate delta because I want to pick a number that's in this range because if I have a number in this range, then I'll be guaranteed to have something that maps over here such that the distance between the value of the function and 3 is less than 0.1. So the way to do this is to maybe imagine the x and y axes separately here. And on the x axis, remember we have two right in the middle, and this is going to be uh, kind of a blown up version here. We're going to zoom in on each of these axes. And then we had the three over here. And so we were looking at 3.1 and we were looking at 2.9. And the reason I'm picking these is because I'm looking at 0.1 away from three, either above or below. And I want to know what these essentially map to. So I know that this two right here, if I were to follow this up and over, would map to the three. I want to know what these would map to on either side of the 2 here, so something like this. Now, because the function is not linear, it's uh, curved right here, we know that um, these are not going to be the same size, and so I don't know the sizes, I just kind of made this bigger here than this, but it not, might not necessarily be that way. So now how do I find these numbers right here? Well, there's several ways you can do it. Uh, my calculator actually has a way to find this, so this is uh, to find this number, for example, is essentially asking uh, where does this thing equal 2.9? In other words, if you solve this equation right here for x, what do you get? And you would get several values, but we want the one value that maps to right here. And so my calculator has a, a way to do this. You could also use a computer to do this, or if you want on a, a graphing calculator, you can zoom in 
near this point right here, and you can actually graph y equals 2.9 as a horizontal line along with the graph of this function and then use the intersect feature to figure out where they meet. So there's several ways to do it. Uh, if you do find this number on a calculator or computer and you round it, uh, you would get 1.9745. And similarly, if we did something uh, to get this number, you would find that it's 2.0246. And again, I'm, I'm rounding this a little bit just to be safe here. And so now I want to find the delta that's appropriate here. And I would like to have maybe a symmetric interval around 2 for my delta. That way I don't have to worry about um, an unequal sized interval on either side here. Because remember, I just want one number delta. I want the distance between x and 2 to be less than just one number. And so I'll pick the smaller of these of the two. So first I need to know the distances between them. So this distance between 1.9745 and 2, if you uh, calculate the distance, just subtract the two of them, you get 0 0.0255. And this distance right here, if I were to subtract these two, you would get 0 0.0246. And so we see that actually this one is smaller. I know it looks bigger the way I drew it, but this is the one that's smaller. So I'm going to choose my delta to be equal to 0 0.0246. And that should guarantee that whatever number I pick in here will get mapped to something between 2.9 and 3.1 on the y-axis. Now, of course, this is one possible delta. Anything smaller than this would also work.